major A-list actor destroyed after what he just did in career-ending anti-Trump photo, the fallout continues for comedian Kathy Griffin who made a photographed joke out of pretending to decapitate our president and acting like a terrorist. Despite the major backlash and massive loss of income through endorsement deals and scheduled performances dropping like flies, another comedian decided he wanted to get in on the career-ending antics. Right as Griffin slipped into obscurity directly following her apathetic apology, another Hollywood degenerate picked up where she left off and is now about to experience the same loss she did in droves. It's easiest to learn from other people's mistakes so that you don't have to go through the same heartache they did by learning too late. Attention-seeking celebrities seem to struggle with this concept and are perhaps gluttons to pain if there's a chance that they could get some much-craved attention for being a disrespectful idiot. Rather than seeing that Griffin had become repugnant not just to the public, but also by her those in her own political party, Jim Carrey saw all of the attention she was getting and didn't care that it was negative since he wanted some for himself. It's one thing to have a president in office who you didn't vote for and don't agree with on most things just ask any conservative how they felt the last eight years. However, it's something entirely different to take that hate to a treasonous level and assimilate with terrorists with the nation's commander-in-chief as your tortured victim. A-list comic actor Carrie didn't think his female counterpart took it quite far enough in her gruesome beheading video and offered a few things she should have done in the photograph. Rather than sticking to the script of promoting his new movie, I'm Dying Up Here, Carrie derailed into career danger zone not worried at all about enduring the same fate as Griffin. People magazine interviewed the actor about his new film and apparently couldn't avoid the elephant in the room that was Griffin's grotesque photo. When asked for his opinion on her picture and props in it, Carrie horrified people on both sides of the political aisle with his sick answer. I don't think the joke is the problem. It's not really important. However, he wasn't just impartial to the shot as he first made it sound. In fact, he hoped that she had taken it much further than she did and offered his gross artistic suggestion on how she could have done that. Hold up a severed leg as well, he publicly told Griffin she should have done to really drive her hateful message home. It wasn't a joke on her, it was more to seemingly say his disappointment in her for not inciting enough violence against the president. He's apparently had dreams of his own of destroying Donald Trump and Griffin beat him to it, but he thinks he could have done the beheading better. I had a dream the other night I was playing golf with Donald Trump, Kerry began to explain in an interview with Entertainment Tonight on Wednesday. I was standing beside him with a club in my hand, and I was considering my options when I suddenly woke up. It was one of those dreams where you just want to get back to sleep so you can finish it, you know, he added according to Conservative Tribune. Kerry took his divisive remarks further to justify his comedic counterpart's disgusting actions as not as serious as everyone is making them seem according to him. It's the job of the comedian to cross the line at all times because that line is not real, he told Entertainment Tonight. If you step out into that spotlight and you're doing the crazy things that Trump is doing, we're the last line of defense. The comedians are the last voice of truth in this whole thing. It's time for the mentality among celebrities to end that they are somehow above consequence simply for being rich and famous. Their anti-American antics are unacceptable and they are abusing their fame to make treasonous statements and pretend assassination attempts of our president something that's mainstream and acceptable. This is dangerous on so many levels, mainly because the lunatic left is crazy enough to follow their idol's example and put the president in danger. The real example that needs to be set here is that there are consequences to acts of violence against the commander-in-chief, whether in jest or in reality. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.